Hello, in this video we will discuss about the sirtuin pathway with resveratrol during the fasting state and we will also understand about the mTOR pathway as well as the AMPK pathway. So let's begin to understand here is the fasting the decrease the glucose and decrease the insulin while the glucagon and sympathetic nervous system gluconeogenesis and lipolysis will trigger due to the sympathetic nervous system but in this case you can understand as well as the long time fasting will decrease the glucose but the sympathetic nervous system will initially not increase but the passage of time will increase while here is we are adding the resveratrol that is the important uh, compound which that is used we uh, use for during the fasting for uh, sirtuin pathway activation of the sirtuin we will discuss so let's begin to understand first of all the endocrinology so here is the hypothalamus and that is the tissue of the body and this hypothalamus trigger the adrenocorticotropic releasing factor due to the depriving of the glucose and will stimulate the anterior lobe of pituitary to produce the adrenocorticotropic hormone which that is stimulate the adrenal gland to produce the epinephrine that's epinephrine will bind with a specific cell with a specific region for uh, changes their uh, changes their physiology so Let's begin and epinephrine will increase the glucose production as compared to the normal glucose will be occur due to the epinephrine while the pancreas also produce the glucagon which that is also bind with the different cells to increase the glycogenolysis. So in this way is the important things that the glucose uh, or calorie deprivation uh, 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 are decreasing the calorie will increase the gluconeogenesis glycogenolysis and AMPK pathway and sirtuin pathway increase while the mTOR pathway MC1 and MC2 will decrease so let's begin to understand here is a tissue which that contain a cell this cell basically contain plasma membrane and plasma membrane contain receptor this beta adrenergic receptor this beta adrenergic receptor will bond with the epinephrine and glucagon. Myocytes is used for the epinephrine, while the hepatocyte is used for the glucagon, binding with the glucagon. So this both receptor is known as the G-couple protein receptor. So after this, the G-couple protein receptor is the cytosolic trimeric protein are present with the receptor alpha, beta, and gamma. So alpha contains GDP in the form of inactive will activate by the GTP to convert the alpha GTP separation. So this separation will activate by the adenylate cyclase enzyme to produce the ATP uh, to produce the cyclic AMP from ATP and pyrophosphate will be released so in this way the inactive protein kinase A uh, will be converted into the protein kinase uh, A active formation so after this this will lead to different function and their characteristics is that the phosphorylation of uh, to inhibit the glycogen synthase enzyme and PFK2 and FBAS2 is also trigger by this active PKA and glucose sub uh, sorry glyco uh, G subunit will be increased and hormone sensitive lipase will be increased so in this way the active PKA also increase the inactive uh, inactive uh, uh, PK which convert into the active PK and this active PK protein will be phosphorylase and to um, inactive glycogen phosphorylase enzyme which that is increase the AMP and ATP decrease and glucose 6 phosphate will be decreased while in this case the inactive glycogen phosphorylase will be activate this activation is due to the blood glucose level drop so after you see this the active glycogen phosphorylase kinase A conversion will, will be activated by the phosphorylation 
to glycogenolysis to produce the glucose 1 phosphate and after this the produce the glucose so this glucose can be uh, convert into the uh, go into the blood glucose to normal the blood glucose level while the glucose also convert into the glyco uh, pyruvate in the form of glycolysis but it can be reversed if the glucose level will be low so the gluconeogenesis will be occur so let's begin to understand here is the cycl uh, cyclic AMP will be increased so it means the AMP AMP will be increased basically as compared to the ATP ratio so in this way the AMP increased to trigger the inactivate inactive inactive mit uh, uh, m uh, mitogen protein kinase so in this way the a AMPK will be activated mito as an protein kinase activation for homeostasis and this homeostatic uh, protein so on the other hand AMPK will trigger the NAD plus increase and in this way NAD plus will convert also the NADH so in this way here is uh, NAD plus will trigger the certain certain one gene this certain one protein sorry after the transcription so here is the nucleus this nucleus contain chromosome in the form of histone protein 60% and 40% uh, DNA and in this way here is the DNA contain different gene for example the certain gene activation through uh, NAD plus through AMPK pathway so in this way the certain gene will be activated and in this way the certain gene will be also trigger the certain genes other so that is why it is the promoter gene and here is the reservoir troll is very important for the activator of certain one pathway after the transcription so that if uh, the certain uh, certain one gene will be activated to function differently but the reservoir troll activator is uh, give the different result while here is the foxo one which that gene is acetyl acetyl group are at as a epigenetically but it will be inhibit and deacetylation to become a methylation and in this way the FOXO1 will uh, trigger the apoptosis so apoptosis will be inhibit and FOXO1 inhibition to trigger the transcriptional factor RAF7 gene to activate and this RAF7 gene will go into the cytosol so on the other hand the AT, ATGS and ATG7 and ATG8 basically is the activation of the uh, AT gene so in this way this activation due to the certain so the certain one is the responsible for the ATG uh, genes so after after the activation on the other hand here is the AMPK which that will trigger the ULK1 complex and this ULK1 complex will trigger the PI3K PI3K uh, uh, C pathway and in this way the 3MA is inhibitor and autophagy protein will be uh, phosphorylase due to the phosphoinositide 3 kinase complex so in this way here is the mTOR which that is inhibited by the AMPK pathway and mTOR complex will be inhibited but the rapamycin also inhibit and in this way mTOR C1 and C2 complex is responsible for the inhibiting of the UK ULK1 complex but it will be inhibited so no inhibition of the ULK1 complex so the chain of the phosphorylation of the different protein will convert into the autophagy protein and here is the phago 4 formation and the mTOR C complex mTOR C1 and 2 will inhibit the phago 4 so mTOR will be inhibited so it will not uh, uh, inhibit that and activation will begin and in this way as the cytosolic protein and organelles will be damaged organelle will be uh, autolysis and in this way here you can see the cell will be autolyzed and lysosome will be bound when so the RAB7 gene will contain a protein after the transcription to uh, GTP activation to bind and the baphalomycin uh, A is also inhibitor for the lysosome binding so the auto lysosome formation will be occur in this way auto lysosome is responsible for the cell death and so this auto lysosome can go into the two side cell death or cell survive 
but in this way important things you should need to understand the mTOR pathway which that will be inhibit so it means the cell death will be also inhibit because the cell death is due to the mTOR pathway so the cell death will be inhibit and in this way the certain one gene is with during the fasting a resveratrol will trigger the m uh, trigger the cell survive while inhibit the mTOR pathway and in this way the mTOR pathway will be inhibit so, so the cell survive can be occur and in this way important thing is that other onco gene inhibition due to the uh, due to the fasting with resveratrol by a certain activation so this is the resveratrol will enter into the cell will play important function for the long life of long life of the cell if the long life of the cell will inhibit the mitosis and inhibit the mitosis means uh, decreasing the telomere using and the telomere will not short too much and the life of the cell will be long and in this way the whole body can be live longer and serotonin 1 has been shown to have own co gene properties by down regulating uh, p53 uh, because the p53 is own co uh, genetic uh, property cause cancer so the activity but recent studies indicate that the serotonin act as a tumor suppressor so it will uh, tumor suppressor in a mutated p53 background and raising the interesting question regarding its the mechanism affection but on the other hand the uh, resveratrol can control and repair the gene with the certain one pathway during the fasting and that is why the low calorie calorie restriction will lead to uh, inhibit the uh, 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 cell death and as well as on the other hand the repair of the gene and the epigenetic mutation will be uh, clear and in this way the la longevity of the cell will um, do, uh, uh, will inhibit the uh, or decreasing the telomere shortening so when telomere will be short so that DNA repairing will be occur and all thing is due to the resveratrol plus fasting and certain one so in this way you can see this thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe